few years ago, a friend gave me a compilation book written by Isaac Asimov. Within it was the Foundation Trilogy, The Naked Sun, and I, Robot. Each of these novels moving further back through Asimov's fictional timeline. One of the major themes in I, Robot was the three laws of robotics, which are as follows. 1. A robot may not injure a human being or, through inaction, allow a human being to come to harm. 2. A robot must obey the orders given to it by human beings, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. 3. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. These laws seem logical until I started reading the actual book. To my surprise, much of the short stories were about how the three laws failed to work in many different scenarios. In the real world, is there a set of ethics that humanity has decided AI will follow? Will a super intelligence have our best interests in mind? To start, an explanation of friendly and unfriendly AI should be given. When we talk about whether an AI system will have a positive or negative influence on us, most AI ethicists use the terms friendly and unfriendly. Friendly AI is an AI that upholds human values and produces positive outcomes for humanity. An unfriendly AI, on the other hand, is an intelligence capable of causing great harm to humanity. An unfriendly superintelligence would likely cause an existential risk, which means either the extinction or the permanent suppression of humanity. At a glance, it may seem easy to think that all the AIs we design would be friendly. It would do what we program it to. And therefore, if we tell an AI system, for example, to maximize human happiness, then shouldn't it do just that? While this claim may seem reasonable, it may not be so simple. An AI system need not think like a human. Most people make the mistake of thinking that an AI system would reason like a human being, and giving non-human constructs human value is called anthropomorphism. In reality, an AI system would be hyperlogical and very alien in both thinking and its set of ethics. Most AI researchers agree that what an AI will actually be like when one is created remains a complete mystery. For example, given the command maximize human happiness, an AI may decide that to maximally give humans happiness, it would be best to simulate the highest possible number of humans and to turn the Earth into computronium, uploading all humans into the planet-sized computer and flooding every human brain with pleasure signals, permanently leaving them in a catatonic state. While this scenario initially seems absurd, if an AI does not share our morals, and if it decides that this is the most logical outcome of the command given to it, it will be out of our control to stop it. A super intelligent AI would be smart enough to completely understand humans, lie, and not let us know of its plans until it is too late to stop it. The above scenario is often confused with the Terminator scenario, but the big difference is that in the advent of an ASI doomsday scenario, there would be no chance for humans. The idea of a resistance would be the same as a chimpanzee resisting humans. In a recent poll of 550 AI experts, the question was asked, what do you think the outcome of the creation of a strong AI will be? 24% said extremely good, 28% good, 17% neutral, 13% bad, and 18% extremely bad, leaving over 48% of the experts unsure, neutral, or bad. Some of these AI experts such as Steve Omohundro, Shane Legg, Stuart Russell and Nick Bostrom, among many other AI researchers have come out to talk about this future problem to the public through novels such as Superintelligence and Lectures. The notion has also been recently popularised by Elon Musk, Stephen Hawking and Bill Gates, with Elon Musk in particular donating $10 million to safe AI research. So are there any proposed solutions to an unfriendly AI? Confining an AI underground or in a kind of virtual prison would not work, as any sufficiently super intelligent system would perfectly understand human psychology and would be capable of lying to escape from captivity. Not developing AI systems in the first place runs the risks of other countries or terrorist organizations developing one first, which could have even worse consequences. There are many other proposed solutions which have been suggested, but most have big flaws in their execution. The truth is that there is currently no agreed upon solutions. Many AI experts and ethicists have started to work on the problem just recently, but the numbers on it are still small, and the field of AI ethics is still in its infancy. While there are many unknowns in the areas of AI ethics, the reason for this is because we are still in the early days of AI research. As our knowledge of artificial intelligence grows, our understanding of how much of a problem AI ethics really is will be better understood. Organizations such as the Machine Intelligence Research Institute, or MIRI for short, and the Future of Life Institute are doing great preliminary work on the topic, 
and I'll leave some links down below so you can check out their sites. So what do you think about the AI ethics problem? Will we solve it before it's too late? Or is there a default outcome for humanity creating such an AI system? Leave a comment below with your thoughts and thanks for watching.